Welcome to day seven of the 30 days to become super flexible program. So well done, you made it to the seventh day, the last day of the hamstrings, the back of the thighs. On day eight tomorrow, we're gonna to move on to day one of the quadriceps and also the uh, hip flexor. And remember with day one, it's only one minute and we're adding a minute on each day. So if this takes you the best part of seven, eight, nine minutes, it's gonna go back down to only a couple minutes tomorrow with the warm up. So I'm gonna show you first of all, the uh, seventh and final hamstring stretch. So it's quite involved and it's quite advanced and there's an easier way of doing it and a very advanced way of doing it. I'll show you it now. So on the last one, we're gonna add on the seated, so backs against the wall, okay, for support, seated hamstring, where you're basically gonna hold inside your heel using your other hand for support and then just gently cocking your knee up at an angle of maybe 45 degrees just gently start to straighten out now first of all you may only get to there and there might be a limit and then you can come back in basically if you wish to you either can hold it for 30 seconds or you can do a number of holds within a few seconds of the 30 or you can go a bit longer and then pull back Again, or again, you can just literally go out and in and out and in, nice and controlled. By the time you get there, you're gonna be nice and warmed up with the other stretches. Remember, hold the heel and then just extend it out and then come back. Don't bounce it, just feel your way through it. Hold it, it's a very intense stretch for the hamstring. And you can always as well put your hand down there for support. So let's get going. We're gonna basically do day seven now of the hamstrings. And remember, it's a follow along program, so you'll do it with me. And I'm gonna keep correcting you on some technique tips, uh, reminders where you put your back, and remember to breathe. And we're gonna start assuming that you are warmed up. If not, don't worry, because we're gonna warm up with our usual one minute walk. So I'm Keith Morton. Let's grab your phone or follow on the screen with the timer, and let's crack on with day seven of the 30 days to becoming super flexible, and today it's the last day of the hamstrings. So grab your phone, which I'll do now. Let's get it going with a one minute walk out, first of all. So nice and steady, toes and heels. Remember why we're doing this. Not only are you gonna have more energy from being more flexible, you're gonna be more relaxed with your muscles, you're actually putting your body in a much better postural position because the muscles can sit properly rather than imbalanced and tight by being stiff and inflexible. The looser your muscles are, the more mobile your joints can be. So it's gonna help your joints for osteoarthritis and general movement and therefore reduce your risk of wearing out and also reduce general aches and pains. So keep going, we're gonna pump the arms, let's get the body temperature up. The warmer you are, the better, and we can then stretch the muscles. We're gonna start with day one stretch again, which was those single hamstrings holding for 30 seconds on each side. So last 10, just pump it out with the arms, keep upright, remember the whole time to keep breathing. And we're gonna move from exercise to exercise. First one, single hamstring on the heel, hands either side, lift up tall, and we lower down. This was day one stretch, the single hamstring holding for 30 seconds, stretching the back of the leg, the calf muscle, and also the lower back. Most of your weight's on the back leg. You can even put your foot down if you feel more stable, it's fine, or on your heel, ideally. Lifting up tall and work your way down. Keep the spine as long as you can. Last few seconds now, then we'll change sides for the other side now of the single leg hamstring. So lift up tall, use your hands, and lower down. Okay, a few seconds. If you want to, you can put a headset on and just listen to your own music and judge the time on the screen or your own timer. If you haven't got to listen to me, babble on if you don't want to. So lower down, nice and steady, single hamstring. The next one's coming is the double hamstring, which you're going to do one minute of both legs at the same time. So a few more seconds, push the bottom back, arch the back, lower down, breathe. And the second one is the double hamstring, shoulder width. Bend your knees, use your hands. From there, lift up tall, lower down, that's good. Stretch the back out and the hamstrings, push the legs back, look forward, try and avoid too much rounding, push the bottom back, lower down. One minute's quite a long time, so keep holding it there, keep breathing. Try and relax the muscles yourself, no tension. Try and relax the arms as best you can, and go further if you can. You're always trying to go further if you can. Last 30 seconds or so. 
This is stretch number two. Uh, stretch three is going to be using that chair. So we can get rid of the chair, the ledge or the chair, single leg hamstring. We lower down, push back, stretch the hamstrings out. Keep breathing the whole time. Don't tense up. A few more seconds, last 10 seconds or so. Keep it there, double hamstring, go further. Bring your hands lower if you wish. Then we'll come up and we're going to go and get the chair. So I'm going to get the chair ready. You may have it ready. Um, I've not got it ready, so I'm going to bring it across here. And we'll place the leg up. And it's a single hamstring. Lift up on a ledge. So basically higher than the first one. Lower down, stretching the hamstring. 30 seconds on each side. So keep it going. Almost there. Relax the muscle. And try and go further if you can. As you go down, you can push the bottom back. Arch the back. Use your hands. They're very, very important to keep you stable and safe. A few more seconds. Get ready to change over, we'll do the other side. So approximately 30 seconds on each side, lift up tall and lower down. Keep it there, keep nice and relaxed. Single hamstring on a chair or ledge. Lowering down. If it loosens, go a bit further. If it's tight, then just hold it there. It will loosen off if you relax it. The muscles will relax if you tell them to and they are reassured that they're okay, they're not gonna injure themselves. We lower down. Single hands. So the next one's going to be laying down with a cushion for your head. It's going to be a move the chair out of the way job. Okay, we'll move the chair. We'll put the cushion on the floor and we'll basically lay down quickly and we'll go into a single laying hamstring stretch, just holding it like so. Again, if you want to, you can always pause the video and just spend longer on these. That's fine. Stretching the back of the leg, bring your hands a bit higher, pull it a bit further. 30 seconds on each way, just holding, try and relax the legs. Don't tense up, keep breathing. Pull it a bit further if you can. Really lengthen this muscle, the hamstring. Also your back's nice and supported here, changing legs. The stretch number four is the single leg hamstring. The next one is gonna be back against the wall and we'll do that very strict leg over, bending forward, single leg hamstring. So we're doing 30 seconds on each leg when they're single. Keep breathing, pull a bit further if you can. Okay, it should be quite a strong stretch now. Holding it there if you can. And we're going to add the last one on today, number seven as well, the really intense one. So holding the single legs, almost there. A few more seconds. Sitting up. Okay, so back against the wall. Take one leg over, relax the muscles, use your hands, lift up tall, and just ease forward. Keep breathing. You're stretching the leg underneath, and this top leg kind of forces it down in a way to make it very intense. So don't go too far. You're not going to go right down just yet. So lift up and then lower down. You can even use a pulsing technique of pulling forward and then come back if you want or just hold it strongly, statically. Changing legs, leg goes over. Consciously relax the front of the thigh and you'll get a better stretch for the hamstring. Lift up tall, stretching the leg underneath it. The single leg over hamstring. Remember, the next one, the sixth one, is going to be the double hamstring sitting down with the back against the wall. A few more seconds and the legs are slightly apart for that one. It's quite an intense stretch, double hamstring, all before our last one, the number seven today. So lowering down, a couple of seconds. Now place the legs apart, sit back a bit further, loosen them off, half a shoulder width, hands on the shins, bend the knees if you want to, if not straight, lift up, and then pull down, stretching the double hamstring, just a little bit of lightly wriggling side to side if you wish, or just holding, or you can just gently pull forward, and then come back off it a little bit and pull forward and come back off if you want. So either a static hold and go forward when you can, or you can wriggle, that's it, lifting up tall your spine, or you can pull forward and then come off it. Remember, it's a double hamstring for one minute, so you can just go side to side, just ease into it, keep breathing, remind yourself to keep tall with your spine, remind yourself to breathe, and remind yourself to relax as much as possible. Try to just pull forward, maybe move your hands forward to stroke your legs, pull forward. We're going to go into the seventh and final stretch shortly, the single hamstring stretch at a 45 angle. So bring your trousers up, bring your hand on the heel, support, lift your knee up, and just gently go out, stretching your hamstring, hold it if you can. You can either hold it or you can bend it, relax it for a second, go back out, hold for five or ten seconds. Come back if you wish, or you can work on just a gentle dynamic stretch out and back and out and back and out and back and maybe hold. And remember, we do 30 seconds on each side. So sit back into the 
wall, hold inside the other side now, goes out, maybe we can just hold for a few seconds, so nice and relaxed, maybe then you can come back, and we can just literally work, go out for a couple of seconds, and back, out for a couple of seconds, and back, or maybe just literally out gently, and back, and out, all at a 45 angle, and back, and one more, goes out, we're gonna hold that, don't force it, you'll get better in time, and then come back. So, there we have it, there's our seven stretches for the hamstrings. Day seven, hope you enjoyed the hamstring stretches. Please join me tomorrow for day eight, which is for day one of the quads and hip flexors. So the first day of that, so day on the program of 30 days to becoming super flexible.